What started as a normal day for a Seafield Sapphire family ended in great tragedy when the life of 10-year-old Anthony Court was brutally taken away from him. Little Anthony, according to his mother and neighbor, was a very peaceful and joyous little child who did not deserve to die in such a manner. When asked about what transpired yesterday midday, this is what family members and the neighbor had to say. My son and me went over there yesterday to get something. Are they doing some fried rice so all right? So I go over to get the things them and my son come and said, Mommy wanna go over to play game with the little boy. Because it's play together. He's come over here and he's go over there. So I said, okay, let's go. And we go over and he tell the girl happy board and he go upstairs and playing game. And we left downstairs and get off in a little bit and not five minutes we go into the shop. And where we go into the shop, three two bandits running from we and say y'all do if you move y'all stay right there because i can shoot off y'all head at the start i had my phone in my pocket i had two chain to pull it off i had three thousand in my pocket the start my pocket the girl they pull out the jar the owner for the shop pull out the jar empty all our money it's not even like fifteen thousand empty she money take take off she married ring take off she ban and then they say there's no all you get, you get upstairs, come we go upstairs. We say we get nothing upstairs, say she come, come at care them and hear that check. And the two children them was in the room, in the little by room, playing game on the computer. That was Dennis McPherson, the mother of 10-year-old Anthony Court, who was brutally gunned down by bandits. The incident happened at Seafield Sophia, Greater Georgetown on Thursday, in the house of a businesswoman and close family friend, Monet Femi. Speaking with the newsroom, a gloomy Femi recalled that while she was held at gunpoint, the gunmen took her upstairs for additional cash and valuables. Scared of what could happen next, she complied and was escorted upstairs with a gun being pointed at her. While Anthony's mother remained downstairs, being held at her hair by the second bandit. It was upstairs that the bandit would make a brief encounter with Anthony. My aunt was keep telling them, well, um, we don't have no money, we don't have no money. And you could see that they're getting hot, right? So I turned to her, I said, I didn't want nobody to do or anything or so. So I turned to her, I said, my aunt, calm, calm. I said, let's go upstairs and let them do what they want to. Let them search. My, so my son and Anthony was upstairs. They was playing on his computer in his room. And he just leave his room, leave Anthony in there, and he went in the veranda. So why is I, they had a gun to my head. One of them had a gun to my head and tell me, don't look back, just walk. So I was walking in front. And when I reached like down there, I hear, pie. So I look back. So when I look back, I see Anthony on the floor. He was like aiming to Anthony, right? So you were here, standing here? Yeah, I was right here. Mm -hmm. I reached like here. Mm -hmm. Because he had the gun to my head and I was walking. So I reached here. So like when Anthony here, the door open. This door right here? Yeah, this door. I walk in from the back step? Yeah, from the back. You come up the back. So like Anthony here, the back door open, right? And Anthony come out to see his home. Mm. So since he see Anthony, my thing, Anthony get more size than them, mm. right? So he must feel like it's a big person coming to come from them, right? I hear pie. So I look back. So since I look back, I see Anthony on the floor. And he was like still pointing the gun to Anthony. And my son coming now from the veranda to see was it so i run after he continue facing the aunt and i run now and push my son in the veranda and i start to hollow and they run and go away during the ordeal the murdered boy's mother held her baby girl in her arms after the gunmen made good of their escape by jumping over a zinc fence neighbors were alerted by the women however at the moment of the shooting, McPherson, though she heard the gunshot, she was unaware that her son was the one who was shot. I didn't know my son get shot. And I run out the yard and I come out and hollow, thief, thief, thief. And when I come over, I come home and I drop my baby. And when I go back, they tell me how oh, my son get shot. Anthony get shot. I shoot him straight in the yard. When he's still in the yard, I shoot him. And then. And when the police, the ambulance take long, long for come, the police come and them do not like my son is already dead. I say, yeah, carrying a vehicle, carry that son is dead. <laughs> no, what's it? Anthony was the only boy amongst three girls for his parents. McPherson, 
still traumatized, shared with the newsroom that in 2015, her eldest daughter was also murdered. This incident brought back old grief. As such, she does not know how her family will move on from this tragic incident. Meanwhile, earlier on Friday, Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Dr. Vindi Prasad, visited the family and offered words of comfort to the mother and father who were in pain and reeling from the loss of their only son. Also visiting the family to offer support and comfort was opposition leader Joseph Harmon. The opposition leader and human services minister both spent time with the child's family and the neighbor where the robbery occurred. Reporting from Seafield Sophia for the newsroom, I am Denika Paul.